and their outlook going forward. But housing lender to India's underserved Aviom Housing Finance has backed $30 million in a Series D round. Now, Nuveen invested in the company in a mix of primary and secondary investments in tranches. The startup plans to use the funds to expand into newer geographies and grow the loan book. Joining me now to discuss this further is Kajal Ilmi, the MD and CEO at Aviom India Housing Finance. Kajal, uh, thank you so much for joining us on Startup Street. You essentially provide loans to women in rural and semi-urban areas for the salaried and self-employed. So you're also a company that is run by women, for women and lends to women. So talk to us about this journey of yours and the kind of impact that you've created. Sure. Thank you so much for having me. So just a quick one. We started work in financial year 2017. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, had exemplary growth in the last six years or so. Today, we're the number one micro mortgage lender in the space between 3 lakh to 5 lakh. And we have a very unique sourcing model, which is focused only on women. So in a way, you're right by saying that it's by women for women. Uh, but at the same time, I want to clarify, we are essentially for profit as a company. And uh, we've had some uh, amazing ROE all through the years we've been in existence. All right. And um, talk to us about the kind of products that you have on offer. What's the ticket size of your loans? Right. So like I said, they're between 3 lakh to 5 lakhs. Right. And we focus on home extension, improvement and sanitation. So sanitation is a very important part of our uh, loan book. Right. So when we, say, when we say sanitation, we're talking about creation of toilets all across India in tier 2, tier 3, specifically focused on the rural markets. Right. So we're the only financial services company, Pan India, which has sanitation as an inherent part of their main product portfolio. Right. Okay. And uh, you've raised $30 million. So what's the uh, plan with the funds? Where do you plan to deploy it? So this is our Series D now. So this right. has been our fourth round, really. And we are very happy to have Noveen as a partner. Uh, they are globally very renowned and they have $1.1 trillion as their AUM. So very happy to partner with deep pocketed uh, you know, uh, funds, especially at a global time like this. And the entire plan is really to... Uh, go into a listing probably in 2026. So we will be seeing some uh, very focused growth in the 12 states that we're in. We will remain true to our basic um, business model of 3 lakh to 5 lakhs. The lady of the house is the first applicant and that remains very uh, you know, integral to our focus of the business model. All right, so you plan to list by 2026. Now, talk to us about Aviom Shakti, where you've claimed to have created employment opportunities for over 55,000 women with plans to add about 5,000 on a monthly basis. So tell us a little bit about this. So this is, we created a flexi worker program for right. rural women. So essentially what it does is it allows every rural woman to become a flexi working hour person or a partner of ours. So she becomes a partner in our business sourcing. So that is the, you know, the uh, non-fixed called variable cost model that we have created ourselves. We call it Shakti. Right. We are working in 12 states and we are deeply known for this model. There's a great deal of trust which is created by the women in the, along with the women in the community. We pay money to them within and the commission due to them within 24 hours. So they are essentially our partners in growth. And the first financial literacy programs are run by us. They're run, managed, and operated by us because you need to take them into the formal workspace as well. So those entire financial training is undertaken by Avium. Okay, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the numbers. So where are your revenues at currently? Where will the next leg of growth come from for you? So right now we close the last year at yeah. a revenue of uh, more than 200 crores. And uh, this coming year, I mean, if, if I talk about from an AUM perspective, we will be at 2,200 crores right. by uh, next March, okay. in the next financial year. And uh, our, from a PAT perspective, you know, considering it's such a young company, we will be crossing 50 crores next All year. Right. We already closed the last year close to 20 crores. All right. And uh, what about expansion plans? Which are the new geographies that you plan to expand into? And how many households do you hope to impact and cater to in the next uh, year? What are the so targets you, you've set for yourself? Right. 
So we are already in 12 states, and 12 states, as you know, in financial services, small ticket is quite a bit. Right. Most of the current uh, players are all usually concentrated in one or two geographies. So we've managed to crack that code of going pan-India. We're across North India and South India. We're doing equally well everywhere. So the entire focus is really to double our book. We're at about 1,100 crores now. Like I mentioned, we'll be at 2,200 crores. So from 130 branches, we will be at about 260 branches. And we hope to have given loans to more than a lakh and a half households. All right. Okay. So we have a very unique model, if I may add. Absolutely. We are in the white space between microfinance and conventional housing finance. Right. So every lender in India mostly either is in the microfinance space. If you look at them in the conventional housing finance space, then they are going up to 8 to 10 lakhs. Microfinance gets over at about a lakh, 25,000. Practically, they lend up to 40,000. Right. So there's a huge gap in the middle that we're catering to. Absolutely. So there's a, and if you see the last year, microfinance lent more than 2 lakh crores. They disbursed in the last financial year. Right. There are more than 6 lakh, uh, 6 crore borrowers in the microfinance space, which just came in in the last financial year. Every one of that borrower is our potential customer. Right. Oh, all right, Kajal. So big opportunity there, but we're completely out of time. Thank you so much for joining us on the show and we wish you all the best going forward. Thank you. On that note, it is time for us to head into a short break. But coming up next, a video telematics platform Lightmetrics raised 